This film shows the development of cancer and the outstanding significance of vitamin C and lysine in preventing the spread of this disease. Here we're looking into a cell which has been cut open to make viewing easier and has been greatly magnified under the microscope. The violet ball in the background is the cell nucleus which contains the cell's genetic makeup and is responsible for controlling all its metabolic processes. The red structure, shaped like a spaceship, is the production plant of the cell. Here enzymes and all other cell products are made. The information produced comes from the cell nucleus. The light blue structures in the foreground are the power stations of the cell, the mitochondrions. These dark structures are collagen molecules which produce the connective tissue in the body. A cancer cell now gives the command from the cell nucleus to the production plant to produce enough enzymes, also known as biocatalysts. These have one principal function, and that is the digestion of surrounding connective tissue. This allows the proliferation of the cancer cell. These structures, presented as small red gnawing balls, are really enzymes or biocatalysts. They have the unique ability specifically to digest collagen fibers and are therefore also known as collagenases. If enough collagen molecules are destroyed, the cancer cell can move freely through the connective tissue, which is otherwise impenetrable, and thus the cancer can spread. In this section of the film, we can see how a cancerous growth forms in the liver. Here again, you can see the schematic cross-section of a liver cell, which has been greatly magnified. There are always two prerequisites to the development of cancer. Firstly, the cancer cell must divide in order to form a growth or tumour. Secondly, enough collagenases or gnawing enzymes must be formed to digest the surrounding connective tissue and thus allow the proliferation of the cancerous growth. Here you can see this presented schematically. The red gnawing enzymes divide the collagen molecules and thus the surrounding connective tissue. At the same time, the cancer cells increase in number and can spread easily throughout the dissolved connective tissue. The development of the cancer has begun. In the next section of the film, we can see how a parent growth spreads out from the liver and finally forms a subsidiary tumour or metastasis in the lung. Firstly, let's look again at the cancer cell in the cross section of the liver. The collagen structures are destroyed and the cancer cell breaks away from the cancerous group and makes its way to the next blood vessel in the liver. Once it has reached here, the cancer cell uses the same collagenases, that is, gnawing cells, to eat its way into the small blood vessels of the liver. The cancer cell penetrates the blood vessel and is carried away in the bloodstream. In the lung, the bloodstream branches out further, which facilitates the adhesion of the cancer cells to the lung's small capillary vessels. With the help of the collagenases, their biological cutting tools, the cancer cells now eat their way from the inside to the outside through the wall of the pulmonary blood vessels.
the original liver cancer cell is now in a position to lodge itself in the lung tissue and form a secondary tumour, the lung metastasis. The original parent growth in the liver has thus formed a secondary growth in the lung. The next part of the film shows the progress made in cellular medicine in the curbing of cancer. Vitamin C ensures an optimal production of collagen molecules and thus stabilizes the surrounding connective tissue. Vitamin C alone hampers the spread of cancer cells. A further important development in cellular medicine is the use of the amino acid lysine. If this naturally occurring substance is absorbed in large quantities, it's capable of neutralizing collagenesis, the gnawing enzymes. The lysine molecules, which are shown here in green, fit exactly into the anchoring grounds of the collagenesis, and to put it bluntly, shut them up. This prevents the collagenesis from digesting the connective tissue. It's thus possible to slow or completely prevent the spread of cancer in a perfectly natural way. Already, this new therapeutic approach of cellular medicine is also being used successfully against various forms of cancer.